Hello beautiful glam girls, welcome back. So I do have a little bit of a breakout. That's my life. But today we're doing another um, makeup vlog video. Um, I wanted to do my makeup very fall, glowy, kind of like a classic look that I always go to in the fall. So, um, and I wanted to film a video about my paranormal experiences. I did a Q&A on Instagram last night and that seemed to be very popular with you guys. Like I got asked questions about that kind of stuff and then I mentioned that I did have like paranormal experiences before and then you guys were like, do a story time about it. So I'm gonna film that. So I figured obviously I have to do my makeup to film and so I'm gonna do an IGTV makeup tutorial as well as a little makeup vlog. Um, Maybe I should have done this as my paranormal story time, like talking as I'm doing my makeup. No, I can't do I that. I can't think. Prepped with the Pixie Vitamin C Lotion. Um, I feel like this is a great option if you don't want to do um, serum and stuff because you can use this as a one step and it's doing something active while it's moisturizing. Marc Jacobs uh, Spotlight Glow Stick on the high points. Seeing the double wear. Estee Lauder Double Wear and the NARS Sheer Glow. These are two of my all-time favorite foundations. When I asked you guys, you know, to ask me questions, the first question I got asked was my top five favorite foundations, and these are in the top five. The Sheer Glow is in the color Syracuse. The Estee Lauder is in the color 3W1 Tawny. It's one of my favorite foundation brushes. I don't know if this is supposed to be used for foundation, but I love it. This is the Real Techniques 301 brush, and it's like this huge stippling. So I guess I'll just talk about myself. I mean, I don't know. I always feel like I don't know what to say in videos like this just because I'm... I like to think I'm quite private when it comes to my personal life and like my personal feelings. Just, I don't know, talking about almost stuff. Like you guys won't ever see me, you know, really talking about so many personal things. So I always feel kind of like, I don't know what to say. Um, but yeah, I've just been going through a lot of changes as a person, I feel like. The closer I get to 30, the closer, the more I feel like I'm just going through a lot of emotional growth and a lot of self-discovery, a lot of feeling like a lot of what I grew up thinking or feeling about myself or like my beliefs and just like things like that are just starting to like come apart in a way. I don't know if that makes sense. I just feel like, I don't know, a lot of trauma from my from my childhood and things I've been through. I kind of pushed it all out of my mind or like as a defense mechanism. I forgot a lot of the things I went through or my brain kind of made me forget. These two colors together match me so well. NARS, this is why NARS is my favorite. Their color, no other brand of foundations or no, no other foundation line or like brand color ever comes close to NARS. Like they get my undertones. They're the only brand that truly gets a golden, true golden slightly neutral undertone like every brand is just so orange so pink and it's just like no i'm golden like i don't know nars just really gets it that's why they're my favorite favorite brand i'm gonna do some cream contouring i haven't cream contoured in so long but um i definitely am feeling like today's the day i want to look really glowy and i don't want to use as much powder as I normally would so this is um milk concealer flex concealer in the shade tan oh my god I'm over here trying to do an IGTV tutorial and I totally forgot to show what I'm doing gosh darn it so yeah I don't know if you guys are feeling this way or if you're like in your early 30s or late 20s or I don't know even in whatever age you are 
if you feel like you've gone through this let me know you know what you think and how you feel about this I'm just going through a lot of changes right now and just feeling like I don't know like I need therapy just to help guide me through it because I feel like when you start to uncover things about yourself and like things about your childhood and things about yourself and like starting to feel like who am I you know all this time was I really myself or was I what people expected me to be and you start feeling like you're going through these changes sometimes you open up like these gates and you like open up parts of yourself that you weren't ready or maybe don't know how to deal with. And I just feel like maybe, you know, like a therapist would just help me navigate that flow and like help me decide where to go to deal with. You know what I mean? Like help me decide what's the next move and like what I want to do and all that kind of stuff because you don't want to like open up that side of yourself or like a new side of yourself open up these gates and like open up all these feelings and basically uncover all these wounds and then don't know how to deal with it and then you're stuck basically with open wounds like I know that sounds gross but emotionally stuck Then you're like emotionally stuck and you could end up in a situation where the, the decisions that you've made and the life that you've made are the decisions of your former self. And then you're basically stuck like in a life based off decisions that don't serve you anymore. You know what I'm saying? And it's a scary thought because that can mean so many things. Like you could be in, you know, like a college and have the the wrong um, major. Because that happened to me too where because of P... I'm trying to be vague because I don't like sharing my personal life. I don't like giving people any opportunity to like have any judgments or opinions on my life because I don't care. Like I don't care what people think about my life. If you're not important to me, you're not a family member. Like obviously my followers are important to me, but I'm saying that if on a day to day basis your input in my life doesn't really affect me or doesn't matter to me, I don't care what you think. Like I'm not the kind of person that wants everybody to know my business and I don't want people to care. Like I don't want anyone to think that I care or need their advice or like that's just not my thing I don't like advice I don't like people telling me their opinion about my life like that's just I I just have more pride than that so that's why I'm very vague about my stuff like I want to do what I want to do you do what you want to do don't try to tell me what I should do like that's just always been my the way I think as you can see I'm building up like soft layers of the cream contour because I want it to be more of a glowy bronzy like you just got off a boat you're kind of sweaty and like bronzy kind of look um, and also you can see it's not too dark because we want to set it with powder so yeah I just when I was in college you know the major that I not the major but the school that I went to I went because it was basically what I was told was the better option. Like I got into all my dream schools. I got into my main dream school. I got into um, like really good schools like Fordham and stuff like that. Um, early admission, I was an AP student. Like I was a, you know, like I was a, a really good student and I wanted to pursue acting and music and theater because that was my passion like in high school I danced I was in the drama club 
that's what my dream has always been like I'm a singer I wanted to be on Broadway or like in plays or be you know the next Beyonce like I really believed that that could be me and so I got into a school that had like the most fabulous program for that in New York City but I wasn't offered any scholarship or anything like that And of course, you know, my mom was like, well, if you go to CUNY school, which is um, City College, I'll pay for tuition and you won't have any, um, any debt. And I was really lucky, you know, my mom paid for Catholic school my whole life. I never had to go to public school and I don't say that to brag, I say that to say that you can understand why I felt a little bit more inclined to be like oh shit you know like thank you you know because she had already spent so many years investing in my in my uh, schooling and and I knew so many people who couldn't afford college I knew people who couldn't afford college and had to work multiple jobs to afford it and um you know I struggled in college because I moved out of my house like I think I was a sophomore for other reasons not because I just wanted to um again won't get into that but um I struggled too because I had to work and go to school and pay bills and stuff like that but at least I didn't have to worry about paying for college, you know. So anyway, my point is that I ended up was I ended up just going to the college that my mom said, you know, if you go here, I'll pay. And I was like, okay, well, I guess that's the better option because I knew so many people, and I heard so many horror stories about people, you know, not being able to pay for college or like having crazy loans after college and. That was like, you know, when I started college, that was right after or like right during the whole um, economic crash, you know, of the 2000s. And so um, I, it was just like everyone was in a mania, you know, everyone was in mania and everything was like try to do whatever's cheapest and all that kind of stuff. So I felt scared because I was so young and I didn't have anyone to help me decide what was the best option I just felt like okay well I guess not having loans is the best option you know so I'm not like baking I'm kind of like pressing that concealer in there so that my under eyes stays really nice and locked and secure but like I said I'm not baking I'm not trying to leave a lot of excess powder it's just all about technique So you can see there's not a lot of excess powder, but I just powdered down those specific spots. Um, so I think I'm going to do my eyes now. For eyes, I'm doing a very basic eye because it's more about the face and the lips with this makeup. So I think I'm going to just put a little bit of bronzer in my crease. I'm using the Beached Bronzer by Urban Decay in the shade Bronzed. I use this to death as you can see loved this bronzer loved this collection so yeah I'm just going in with the brush that I was already using on the sides of my nose and I'm gonna start with the sides of my nose actually I'm gonna be a little bit more careful with this like I said with this look it's a little bit more about details and soft motions and 
light layers. I gotta look over here because the the window's here and I can get better lighting. Whereas on camera, you can't see as much. So, um, so all of that to say that I chose the school where I wouldn't have loans. And obviously I'm happy I don't have loans, but that decision like really changed the entire course of my life and i do regret it like i regret letting someone else decide for me what the best decision was out of fear basically like fear that i would have loans and then i wouldn't be able to pay them and just like all this stuff instead of being like no this is your dream school like it's gonna it might be hard you know you might have loans but going to this school is the best decision because this is where you can make your dreams come true and I'm drinking my breakfast by the way this is where you're gonna you know reach your dreams and your goals and I just wish that I had had someone to be like it's gonna be okay like don't let fear decide for you which is what happened to me and so now that i'm older and i'm realizing those things and i'm like okay i've made so many choices since i was 13 years old which is a long time okay and it's like how many of those choices were made because of how i really feel or who i really am versus the fear that was put into me or the thoughts that were put into me the things i was told the way i was manipulated or the way i was scared into doing something you know what i mean like how many of the decisions i've made were my decisions and not decisions out of fear or out of pleasing people or out of being messed up in the head because of my childhood traumas you know what i'm saying so that's kind of my point of all this whole story um, okay, so for my eyes, I'm going to start with this new eyeshadow I just got from Bobbi Brown. Look how pretty. Look how nice it's packaged. It has a little covering on the eyeshadow part. If you follow me on Instagram, you guys saw I went to Bloomingdale's and found this. Look how pretty the packaging it says Bobbi Brown. And these are the Lux Glitter something eyeshadow. What is it? Lux Rich Sparkle comes with a little mirror and look i got the color sun flare they had so many beautiful colors but these things are 40 dollars each they're 38 with new york city tax it was like 42 dollars. so i was like yeah i'm only getting one because i'm really not in the market to spend 150 dollars on three or four eyeshadows like no like you could get a whole pat mcgrath palette for that um and when did bobby brown get so expensive like i remember it being like kind of expensive like sixty dollars for a big you know jug or a big jar of face cream that's amazing fine that was great but that was 2015 so i guess maybe like now the markup is higher because that's when i was using her products when i was a makeup artist um for dasha polanco i used to use a lot of bobby brown because they used to send me stuff um but i don't remember being that expensive like 40 dollars for one eyeshadow but i know i'm gonna use this to death it's so beautiful let me do a little swatch for you it's just like a pure metallic glitter like pigment type eyeshadow so beautiful but i think i'm gonna use it just alone like usually i put something underneath but i'm gonna use this alone on my eye by itself so i'm just gonna pat that on to my lid you know what i think i'm gonna do yeah i'm gonna do like a thicker coat of it all over to give that gold wash because once you do like a thicker layer it does look a little bit darker you see that so yeah i'm gonna do like a thick layer all over and then go back in and then press that in the center To make it really sparkle and um the girl at the counter said they also use it wet 
I think I'm gonna spray my finger instead of spraying the, the shadow and see how it looks wet. Oh yeah. It works wet, it works wet. I'm just gonna blend it in the crease. I like when the shimmer kind of just fades out slowly. That is so pretty. So pretty. Um, I'll get closer so you guys can see. Once I do both eyes and put lashes on, I'll go closer and then get better lighting so you guys can see what it looks like up close. Um, let me do my little IG video. So, so yeah. And that's just one example of like decisions I've made because of other people. You know, um, I made other decisions and... I think that one was probably the biggest in my life just because you know who knows what could have what could have happened if I pursued what it was that I really wanted to do instead of letting other people's fear like dictate um my life So, yeah, that's what I mean as far as, like, decisions you've made and I, I, I guess it's, like, normal. Like, we all go through that. We all go through phases where we get, I guess, peer pressured and stuff like that. Mine is not really peer pressure so much as it is being raised a certain way and, like, almost being brainwashed in a sense in some ways to believe certain things or feel certain things that oh my god look at that glitter do you see that I'm trying to look at that is that not insane oh my god so pretty ridiculous like ridiculous so I really don't know how people do their makeup and talk like oh these are dead oh shit I was gonna bring out a light, but the batteries are fried. All right, I added light. I added um, batteries to my light, so I think you can definitely see better now. Um, so yeah, things like that, I guess, is what I mean. Um, so it just makes me wonder, you know, I've just come to a point where I'm starting to realize so many things about myself and it's just scary, you know, it's scary. I'm just taking a little bronzer underneath. I don't like to leave it bare, but I'm not trying to like smoke it out or anything. And once you put mascara, it'll look a little bit darker. I'm gonna take the same bronzer Onto the rest of my face, obviously. I'm trying to decide if I want to add something else. But I think this is good. You want to use something. Wow. Slightly contouring, but a little bronzing. If you notice, I waited before I bronzed because 
remember I didn't powder my whole face so I wanted my foundation to set a little bit more so that I wasn't putting powder on top of a wet foundation base and also if you're gonna put a powder on top of a foundation that is not completely dry don't go like this <laughs> you want to kind of pat a little bit more and stipple a little bit more and that just helps kind of deposit the color and blend it and let it kind of blend into the makeup instead of pulling that wet foundation from the bottom foundation all right adds to add a little bit more warmth and glow i'm taking my charlotte tilbury um hollywood what is this duo film star bronze duo in the medium dark so i think i'm gonna take a mix i like to mix them both and then i'm gonna just because i like that more light orangey shade to go as like a blush so the part of the brush that has that color i go upwards and let that go on the tops of the cheekbones and the darker shade kind of goes on the bottom take a little bit more of that use it kind of as a blush oh yeah this is doing it for me so that's what i mean um I'm going to take a cream blush highlighter. This is the Crystalline Glow Highlighter Stick from, what is this, Bare Minerals. It's a really pretty, pinky, peachy, glowy, pearlescent kind of cream highlighter thing. So, I'm gonna take the brush I always use for cream blush and cream highlighter. It's my favorite of all time. This is actually an e.l.f. brush. This is called the Ultimate Blending Brush. I'm gonna take that. It's not really coming onto the brush. I'm gonna put it on the brush directly. Is that better? I'm kind of, oh yeah, that's better. Oh yeah, now it's showing up. Because I want that glossy, wet cheek look. And then what you want to do is take your bronzer brush and kind of like blend it in together. And I'm going to take MAC Reflex Pearl Glitter. And put a little bit of that in my inner corner. Just to set off. the glitter on the lid I don't want too much I just want like that little pop of light because we're doing a dark lip you bitch I just dropped it everywhere look at all the glitter on the floor guys and this is when I cry Hi guys I was finishing my makeup and doing my IGTV video and I forgot to finish here but um yeah so i just went in back i went back in with the urban decay bronzer more of the charlotte tilbury bronzer i did a little bit of blush this is the flesh blush flesh beauty in the shade hug it's like my favorite peachy um neutral blush a little bit of that and then for highlighter i went in with this highlighter and then it broke <laughs> this is the pixie glossy subtle sunrise duo and i love this highlighter duo i think this is like the best drugstore highlighter ever like incredibly creamy and pigmented and i dropped it but yeah that's what i use as highlighter and then i just sprayed with some Too faced setting spray so i'm pretty much almost done the last thing to do is put some brow gel in my eyebrows i'm not gonna like fill them in or anything i'm gonna put some brow gel and then mascara 
lashes i'm using some really pretty wispy lashes as usual i use dodo lashes and you can use my name gabriella lascano for money off that will be down below so i'm gonna put lashes on and then for lipstick i'm doing dark lipstick i think i'm gonna mix these two this is anastasia beverly hills vamp and then this is mac uniformly fabulous so they're both like liquid lipsticks i think i'm gonna mix them together to get like a brownish dark vampy shade and then that's really it and it's crazy how the lashes and the lipstick is what really takes this look to the top and of course layering all the facial products so i'll come back when it's done lashes on i did like a little outer lip liner situation with the mac because it's really dark and then i'm gonna go in with the other one. Oh yeah you guys enjoyed this video i know that the ending was kind of abrupt but that's how it always happens and the video was already so long but i hope you guys enjoyed this um i hope you enjoyed you know learning a little bit more about me and hearing more about my personal story let me know if you know you have anything to add to the conversation below i would love for us to open up a dialogue in the comments and help each other and i want this to be a space where we can talk about our similar experiences and our different experiences and, and help each other basically if you have any words of wisdom please leave them down below as usual i love you guys and also i have a new ebook on my website it's the ultimate guide to nyc so if you're visiting new york or if, in, if you're in new york and you need help you know deciding where to go it's everything i love about new york all the places museums restaurants experiences everything that's linked at my website at gabriellalascano.com i love you guys so much don't forget to like comment subscribe and of course stay glam Mwah. bye